Chances are that you got one of these lying around the house. Either from that time you went skiing and thought you needed an action count to record all your sick moves. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh. Or the summer you decided you were going to be a vlogger. Nope. You might now be wondering how you can turn this into a webcam to use in your DJ streams or even just for Zoom calls and things like that. GoPros for live streaming are actually really handy as they've got such a wide angle, which is great if you're in a tidy studio office like I am. Today, I'll show you what you need to make this work and how I set mine up to record into my computer. GoPros can be kind of shitty on their own. The battery is pretty pants and they're so small, positioning them can be a pain. So here's a list of stuff that I use to make my GoPro more usable. The first thing you'll need is a capture card and all the cables which go with it. So a micro HDMI cable plus a high speed USB 3 cable. You're also going to require a micro SD card. For powering the GoPro, I'd recommend getting a mini USB charger and the cable. I'd also recommend getting a stand for helping positioning the GoPro. The one I use is made by Benro. You might look at your GoPro and think because it's got a micro USB input that you can just plug it into your computer and use it as a webcam. Unfortunately, that's just not the case. The GoPro is no different than any other camera and you have to purchase a USB capture device for it to be detected by your computer. I've not bothered to make this video in the past because they've traditionally been pretty expensive. I actually bought this one off eBay secondhand for £130 and it was £200 brand new. Luckily, these have come down in price a lot recently making this method much more worthwhile. There's tons of these cheap OEM capture cards on Amazon for as little as seven pounds. I've got one in the post to test and apparently they're pretty decent. If you don't want to risk going quite so cheap, you can also get the Elgato Stream Deck, which I do believe goes for around 130 pounds. It is important to make the distinction now that most of these cheap ones will only allow you to stream up to 1080p, not 4K like the Cam Link. But for streaming and things like that, it's not super important. So first of all, plug all your cables in. The GoPro also needs to have a micro SD card inside of it to work, even if you're not recording to the GoPro. I also recommend plugging in a separate USB charger. If your GoPro is anything like mine, the batteries probably don't last too long and this takes care of that. Setting up the camera is pretty straightforward. Make sure it's set to the correct NTSC or PAL settings for where you live. Europe, most of Asia and Oceania, most of Africa and also parts of South America use PAL, which is 25 or 50 FPS. North America mostly uses NTSC, which is the 24 to 60 FPS kind of format. We're going to be using OBS Studio to do the recording, so we want the FPS of the GoPro to match within OBS. This will help prevent dropped frames later on. I like to have my camera set at 1080p, 50 FPS, although you could also go to 25 FPS if you wanted a little bit more motion blur. 25 FPS is slightly more natural looking motion blur and 50 FPS would be a bit more kind of like sports where it's a bit more clear. Obviously I'm mostly recording DJ stuff so I want it to be super clear. You can also choose how wide your GoPro is at this point. I find medium is wide enough for my needs. It's still pretty wide so yeah, that's what I go with. Once you've plugged everything in, make sure the GoPro is on and has the SD card inside of it obviously, then open up OBS. We then want to add a new HDMI input as a source within OBS. Choose the settings that I'm showing on the screen now. An image should now be getting transmitted from your GoPro to OBS. If it isn't, try restarting OBS or your computer and hopefully it should pop up. If you haven't already got everything set up properly within OBS, that's what you're gonna to wanna to do next. And I've got a full guide up here on how you can do that which is much more in detail and it will answer all of your questions. So I'd recommend going to look at that if you haven't done so already. Peace and carrots, y'all.